Is your mouth watering? Don't miss Coral Gables Restaurant Week. More than 30 great restaurants to choose from, June 4th through 17th. Welcome to Chat Chow TV, an online weekly show interviewing the personalities behind the food scene. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with Matt Kusher, owner of Locale Burger and Beers here in Coconut Grove. All right, Matt, but the cool kids call you Kush, right? The cool kids and my friends, yes, <laughs> they're cool. <laughs> now, what are we drinking today? You're drinking the uh, Florida Cracker from Cigar City in Tampa. I'm drinking the Tequesta Gnarly Barley. It's uh, from actually Tequesta, right next to Jupiter, uh, about an hour north of here. Cheers. Cheers. Salud, props. Salud. Now, you've been in the restaurant business for many years, right? My whole life. Now, what do you see any trends happening recently? What do you... Oof. Um, well, there is a big, big movement that I'm actually a big believer in, which is the local, you know, farm to table. Uh, I try to do it on a different level, but definitely using locally sourced ingredients, knowing where your products come from, knowing the person who's making your products is a big deal. Now, what makes the locale so unique? Uh, well, we use all local ingredients, like I was just saying. So it's all Florida grass-fed beef. I literally get my beef every Tuesday. I know which cow it comes from. I get my alligator. I order it by the alligator. He says, you want a four-foot, five-foot, six-foot alligator? And he brings the alligator for me. So we really know exactly where all our products are coming from, which is something I believe in a lot. Now, you guys don't just have burgers, right? What else, what else do you well, offer? Well, our fish is amazing. We get fresh Florida grouper every day. We obviously have that. Our shrimp tacos are amazing. And, uh, you know, obviously we have homemade guacamole and uh, heirloom tomato salad is I amazing, too. I had that. That salad is delicious yeah, it's really with good. some blue cheese crumbles on it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> now, my favorite burger is the veggie burger, believe it or not. I just, I love the veggie burger. And what is your favorite burger? Uh, by far, the Frida. Um, it's something that my wife kind of brainstormed, and uh, me and Albert, the chef, kind of finished off. But we do uh, a guava jelly, and we melt it with the Gruyere cheese. Mm. And we put bacon, potato sticks, and press it down. So it's kind of like uh, if you like uh, Cuban bakery and you like the guava and queso pastelitos, you're going to love it. That's your burger. That's my favorite. Now, for all the far. Cubans in Miami, that's the burger you need to have. I would think so. I want you to talk a little bit about the childhood dream burger because it is so unique. Uh, well, I actually I grew up in a, a donut shop my whole life. Uh, my dad owned a Dunkin' Donuts in the 80s, so when I was 7 to 15, I basically grew up in a Dunkin' Donuts, and it was, you know, this is back in the day when they actually made all the donuts in the restaurant, and it wasn't just like a fast food restaurant. So. Uh, I hated donuts. I couldn't eat them. And my brother and my sister and I would just like sit there, you know, making donuts and basically living in this donut shop. So we used to create things. And that was one of the things that we created when we were little kids. And that was one of the ways my parents got me to actually eat the donuts that we were making. So I've been doing that since I was uh, literally since I was eight years old. Circa 1980s before yes. it became popular. Really old right? school. Yeah. So before it became a little bit more of a Food Network thing. And um, so here we do candied bacon, American cheese, and we glaze the donut. And Perfect and awesome. Well, I'm dying to try it, and nobody wants to try it with me. So uh, I just, I really want to taste it. I don't think I could eat the whole thing, but just, just a bite. I'm all about uh, it, sweet and savory. It is a little smaller, but if you can't finish it, I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going yes. to call you out on that because nobody wants to do it with me. Now, you guys do some cool things. You have, um, you've got organic doggy treats and the PBR bin. I mean, I want to talk about the decor a little bit. Um, because you've got the corks behind us, the, the tape decks here, the planks over there. Well, it kind of goes into what my, my beliefs are, which is I'm trying to get Miami more into recycling and believing on how we can reuse and, and, and be better for the environment. So everything in the restaurant is all recycled, reused, or donated. Cool. Uh, the corks were all donated. I just started collecting at Facebook, hey, who's got corks? And over time, we collected over 6,300 corks. That's what it took to make that? Yeah, Camilo Rojas is the artist who did that. He's a master of typography. He's got several that are in museums and, and he did that for us um, the cassettes uh, again I just had Facebook hey uh, who's got cassettes I had one friend from Chicago just send me a bunch of cassettes so there's like a bunch in like the library of Chicago <laughs> they're like a random in there and it was funny because every cassette everybody that gave me cassettes after they gave it to me they would look at it and be like no Aww. not that one not that one not that one they would keep like four <laughs> just in case they needed them it was really funny and then all the pallets over there, like they were throwing them away at the supermarket behind my house. So we, we cleaned them, we sanded them, and we made tables and uh, greeter stands out of them. So it's all re recycled, reused. All the furniture here was all donated from other restaurants. And these are all recycled wood chips. 
Wow. And the organic doggy treats, you guys? Uh, well, we have a very famous vet right around the corner, and uh, I'm a big dog lover, and I wanted to make this as dog-friendly as possible, so I figured... What's better than, you know, a sick dogs walking by or, you know, make them feel a little bit better or while they're waiting to get in there, they can get some, you know, some, some treats. So the Aww. chef Albert makes uh, organic dog biscuits every day. That's so cool. Now, we we're talking a lot about burgers and you talked a little bit about the dishes that weren't burgers on the menu. Let's talk about beers because you guys, I mean, you're burger and beer. So what are some of the beers that well, you got Well, David on? Rodriguez is my bar, my beer guru, and he knows everything about beers. He goes, he takes beer road trips and he stands in line to know about everything. So he makes sure we're on the cutting edge of what's new and obviously what's local. Um, the Tequesto one that I'm drinking over here is, like I said, it's made an hour north of here. And if you go there, literally a bar where they're making the beer right there. Right. And we're one of only like two or one or two stores that actually have it in Miami. It's so small, nobody can get it. But we make relationships with the breweries so that we can get their product and they'll, and they'll keep supplying it to us. Awesome. And when the Heat Play, what happens here? In the Heat Play, if you order a Miami Heat Burger, then you do get a free Florida beer. So we usually do Florida Lager or we'll do another Florida beer. And <laughs> Go Heat. How many people have ordered your bubbles and burgers off the menu. I would say one person is one. Really? Yes. There is one. There is one, yes. Bullshit. I would never have guessed. Yes. It's you know the, the thing about it is funny. The bottle of champagne we use, the Jay Schransberg, it's a three hundred dollar bottle of champagne anywhere you go. So if you're ever in the mood to eat to drink a <laughs> wonderful bottle of champagne, it's actually a fantastic deal. It's just you get I your guess, burger for free. Yeah, you get two burgers <laughs> two for free. Two burgers for free. Really is what it is. Um, we just have to get people to come here and celebrate a little more often, I guess. Yes, yeah. I it's think a deal. Yeah. Yeah. It is a deal. <laughs> I think I'd be a little more impressive if the guy cooked for me. But I can see how if you took me to have champagne and burgers, it'd, well, be, yeah, it'd it, be just as unique. Hey. <laughs> Especially if you're the first. Exactly. What's next for you guys? Uh, you know what? Right now, we just want to take it day by day. I, I really want to go and make sure that this is, I put all my energy to make sure this is as successful as possible. And uh, if we can hopefully do that, then we'll look into the future. But right now, I just want to make sure that these four walls, I'm here every day and that we can stay successful. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to success. Thank you so much. <laughs>